Hello everyone. Welcome in to Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah Presents. My very first attempt at a very small little tutorial. Um, I am working on the hubby blanket. These are all the colors of the hubby blanket. This is in Big Twist Value Yarn and this particular color is medium gray. They're not real creative with their color names but for a value yarn this is probably my favorite is the Big Twist. I'm going to put this over here away so that it's a little out of the way. Got my little progress marker here. Uh, stitch marker is from Rose Likes Crochet to boldly go where no man has gone before because that is a Star Trek reference and since this is for the hubby might as well be using a Star Trek thing even though I'm a Trekkie as well. I do use these little guys to hold my stitches while I put the project away just to keep from unraveling any progress I happen to make because I am not a fast crocheter. Now I am at the end of the row here. When I get to the end of the row, and I'm going to show you how to do this stitch. Um, this stitch, I don't know if it's a real stitch, but it's something that I kind of came up with. The hubby wanted something that did not, this is for him, that did not have a lot of holes in it. He didn't want anything granny stitch. He didn't want any triple crochet kind of gaping holes. He says that this will do. Um, so what I'm doing is I have one color, then I have the red, the black, and then a lighter gray, the red, the black, and the darker gray. And that's how it's going to go. And then it's going to have a border around the outside. So what I do at the end of a row, oh, this is hard through a viewfinder. Gosh, I don't know how you guys make tutorials all the time. I chain one and then I turn my work. And since the first one, um, there's nothing to join to. This is sort of an extended joined double crochet. I yarn over and I start in the first stitch and just do a regular double crochet. I put my hook through, pull through two, and pull through the final two. And here's where the fun starts. For this next stitch and for every stitch on the rest of the row, I yarn over. And do you see how the double crochet kind of has two legs coming down there? Kind of hard to see in the gray on this camera angle, but there's one little leg and then the other. I want to go through the left hand leg. Okay. So now I have three loops on my hook and then I go into the next stitch, which is that V looking part there on the top, just like a normal double crochet. I'm going to yarn over, pull through that yarn over, pull through two and yarn over and pull through all of them. And I actually missed a stitch on the first one. Let's try again. I'm leaving my mistakes in because I'm a beginner crocheter and well, I make mistakes. We're gonna try another stitch. This will be the real one because looking through a viewfinder, I get kind of lost. Okay, yarn over, go through that left leg, go through the top of that next stitch, pull through your loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through your last two. It almost ends up being like a triple crochet in the amount of times that you have to pull through two, but I'll do another one. We're going to yarn over, go through that left leg. We keep beating up the left leg here, but that's what we're doing. And then poke through the top of that next stitch, just like normal. Pull up your loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through your final two, and there's your stitch. Yes, the first stitch is always going to be a little bit short, but it ends up working out um, as the blanket goes along. And any, I've made mistakes in this blanket since the beginning. My stitches have changed a little bit because I started this like the first two weeks that I started crocheting. So it's also kind of a how much have I learned progress, um, which is kind of fun. Hubby said, yep, just leave them in. It's all good. So I'm going to do this one again. Went through that left leg, through the top of that next stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through the last two. There you go. I refer to it as a joined extended double crochet. Don't know if that's the name for it. I kind of took inspiration from a stitch that I saw on uh, Bitch and Stitches that Kay put out months ago, and I just kind of winged it or wung it and went from there. So yes, the hubby blanket is getting progress made on it, and I'm doing my very first kind of little bit of a stitch tutorial. Thanks for stopping by. 
I appreciate you, you know, hanging out here at Crochet Life and stuff with Deborah. And uh, please hit the like and subscribe button and maybe I'll get a little bit better of this and be able to post some more. Bye now.